Hey everybody, and welcome to another JASP tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about one of the new features, the rain cloud plot, uh, which is specifically put in for simple t-tests. And so we're going to go through a t-test example, which, you know, it serves as a, as a great way to also add another t-test example to my channel. All right, so before we jump into some data, we are using the new JASP 0.15 version, obviously for Mac here, but I would imagine many of the same features are available for Windows as well. So let's open up some data. I'm going to go through the data uh, opening process just because I want to make sure that everyone does have an opportunity to follow along using their JASP. So we are going to go up to the hamburger menu here, and we are going to go to open. And because this is a fresh open of JASP, it kind of puts you in that right direction. So we're going to go down to the data library. And I love this, uh, I don't know if it's been uh, the situation before, but hovering over things actually opens it. You don't necessarily have to click it. You can just hover over it and it will open it. So I, I think that's nice. So we're gonna go in the data library. The stuff is in pre-installed with JASP. So um, you can get started with some data. We're gonna go into t-tests. We do have to click on this one. And we have several t-tests that we can um, uh, work from. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the directed reading activities. And instead of opening the full um, JASP wrapper file, uh, which has the output and, and all of the notes and everything. Uh, this data is from Moore, McCabe, and Craig. I'm just going to open up the CSV file, which is the one without the J here. So this will just open up the data file, and you can see directed reading activities here at the top. And so we have uh, four variables. We have ID, which clearly should not be um, a scale variable because it is somebody's ID. We have 44 people. Um, we have our, their group, which is um, either treat or control. So they got some sort of reward for reading, I imagine, directed reading activity. So the treat is a reward and the control, I imagine, don't get that. Of course, you can read all about these variables if you decided to click on the wrapper and go from there. Um, we have G, which is uh, just another group. You don't actually need this. Um, you don't need this variable because JASP can read groups. Um, we can I can show you uh, the point of that in, in just a minute, but um, uh, JASP can read uh, two different, uh, we'll call them string nominal variables. And then DRP here is the, this is the dependent variable. And so it is the uh, variable of measure in our, uh, I would imagine bigger numbers are better. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and do a t-test. So we're going to go up to t-tests and we're going to click on that. And this is an independent samples t-test because we have two groups. So we're going to click on that. Okay, which brings up the module here. And so um, we can either put grouping variable in here or I'll show you with um, with G as well. But then we can put DRP in the dependent variable and we get an immediate quick students t-test, right? So a negative T degree of freedom of 42 because degrees of freedom for an independent samples t-test is N minus two. And then we get our p-value. This is the basic bits of information. So if I take that one out, I can also put G in there and you can see that it will end up giving me uh, a very similar response except in the opposite direction. So if you wanted it to be positive, if you wanted it to be negative, it's up to you in this case. Um, this one, it looks like it's doing uh, control minus treat because C comes before T in the alphabet and G here is doing zero uh, or one minus zero or something like that to give a positive. But you can see uh, T's are reciprocal around a mean of zero uh, or symmetrical, not reciprocal, apologies, symmetrical around zero. So, I mean, we're only going to change the positive and the negative there. So, rain cloud plots. I'm not going to change anything else about these you can check out my previous uh, video of independent samples t-tests for what all the rest of these do uh, because much hasn't changed since i did that actually nothing has changed since i've done that except for rain cloud plots oh yeah rain cloud plots so we're gonna click that and it's gonna make a rain cloud plot so what are rain cloud plots if you've never heard of rain cloud plots well they are um essentially plots that use uh scatter a jiggered scatter so the dots are um, represented in a column but sort of offset from one another as you can see in these dots here they don't form just a uh, straight up and down uh, line because you know the only thing that's changing here is on the y-axis the other thing they're represented by are um, interquartile range and confidence intervals um, and then we have uh, density functions for them and this is a great way to compare means and so we have a, a p-value of 0 0.029 or 0 0.03 and that's really going to indicate to you that the mean for green okay, is fairly close to the mean for orange. And you can see this again with the medians represented, because if you look at both of these uh, curves, they look generally normally distributed. Um, the orange or one in this case, which was the control group, is a little more spread out than the zeros, which is the uh, treat group. Okay, So we can see that the mean is slightly, and the mean and the median are slightly higher for the green distribution, which is our treat, which according to this example is the 
experimental conditions. So we'd like to see that mean a little bit higher if higher numbers mean better outcomes for directed reading. Of course, we're giving a treat. So we'd, we'd like to see those um, scores improve, I would imagine. And then there is more variability in the control group, this orange curve. You can see here on the uh, box plot that there is more. And then there's this uh, outlier here, which is sort of pulling the mean that way. But if we got rid of this person, you might see a completely different result here because means are, of course, outlier dependent. But that's what a rain cloud plot is. And I think it, um, it does a really good job of um, showing multiple bits of inferences that one can make. And as you can see, making it bigger, I pulled away some of those um, those spaces. And so we can save this as a much larger image and show various ways of visual inference without even having to show the t-test by itself. I think this is a great addition to the product and it's a lovely way to represent and we can even go in and, and edit this image. We can go in and change these and oh, so glorious. And so instead of calling it G, we can call it um, you know, score or, oh no, this is group, sorry. Um, we can call it uh, group and not G. And uh, y-axis is practice score. I don't know if that's the right one. If I could spell it, that might be good. Right, and so we can have group and score, and kind of wish the uh, x-axis here. Of course, we're not going to have negative twenty, so you want to make that zero. That's that's not there. We go. <laughs> uh, and then if we went back to the y-axis, if you know, based on data, based on ticks, we can set this manually. We can change from zero to one. Although, why would we? The only knock I have against this plot is that the zero and the one are only for the jigger dots and not for the um, other two visualizations. But you know. That's small potatoes when you when you think about it. Now, this is only one way to prevent uh, to present the data. If you um, you know wanted to, you can um, rotate the graph and uh, make it you know look at look as though the rain cloud aspect, because the rain cloud aspect is the curves themselves raining down the dots. That's where the name comes from. And if you were to type in rain cloud uh, plot in Google, that those are the kinds of pictures that will come up. But even still, this is this is a great addition, and I've even made it that much better by using the new uh, plot editing in 0 0.15. So that's how you do rain cloud plots in independent samples t-tests. If you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing for more of these kinds of tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.